uh, I think it's turn uh, for a student's turn actually to talk and say what other students and student unions have to do uh, and can do for you during your graduate programs. Uh, I'm, also, I'm just a representative of GSU, Graduate Student Union, and I can say that we'd love more graduate students to be involved in GSU. We have different services that we want the students to use. Some of the students come and go without knowing what services we provide. Uh, we have legal services, financial support, so please use them. And uh, uh, my colleague is gonna uh, talk to you about the services that we have. But before that, we would love to uh, invite Ms. Catherine Wren, uh, the second vice president of Taman who has been recently elected. Thank you very much. Sir. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? Enjoy the weather? <laughs> so um, it's great to see so many people here today, and I hope you enjoy the orientation so far. My name is Catherine Ren, and I'm studying the Education Leadership Studies in the Department of, of Education. So I'm also the Vice President of the Teaching Assistant Union of Memorial, so it's called Tallman. So today I'm gonna spend some time talking about this union. You know, as graduate students, you all have the opportunity to be a teaching assistant or a researching assistant. So this union, the Tallman, is really great and important for those who are teaching assistants and researching assistant. It stands for the Teaching Assistant Union of Memorial University of Newfoundland. So we aim to create a, a, a working environment with fairness, equality, and respect for all the teaching assistants and researching assistants of our university. So we have a large number of uh, members. So all the if you are a teaching assistant or a graduate assistant or researching assistant, then you're a member of our union on your date of hiring. So aside from l a large numbers of members, we also have a steward committee and an executive committee. So we have one president, two vice president, a secretary treasurer, and two members of large in the executive committee. And we're all from different departments and studying in different areas. So you can see from those pictures, we're a very diverse group that's also why our mission is respect equality. We give everyone the same opportunity, and we respect everyone the same, regardless of their, like, their background. So some of you may have heard of PSAC, the Public Service Alliance of Canada. So it's one of Canada's biggest uh, national labor unions, which with numbers across, the, across all the province and territory. So PSAC is also the biggest union in, in Canadian federal public sector. So we are part of PSAC. We are a directly charter local of PSAC. So now you have a like, rough understanding about who we are. So like that, that's a brief introduction of our of this uni of Tallman. So what kind what kind of things we do? So the first and most important things we do is collective bargaining. So there is a collective collective bargaining committee that negotiates uh, between the employers, which is the university, and the employees, which is our teaching assistant and researching assistant. So normally. The result of a pr process of uh, collective bargaining is a collective agreement. So uh, the committee, the bargaining committee, and the university have reached the first, the tentative first collective agreement in June 2010. And this small, this small blue one is a collective agreement that we're using now. It's from 2014 to 2017. So if you have any questions or concerns when you are working as a teaching assistant or researching assistant, you can find the answers in this book. And um, you, can you can find this, you can, you can get this from our office or download it from our website. So this is very important. And also, the bargaining committee also work on the hourly wage. So you can see from this chart that the, the wage um, from in the past six years, the wages keep increasing. So in September 2009, the wages 
here at the is, is done here at the uh, about 1850, but after six years with our effort and negotiation, it reaches around 22. So it's keep increasing, and how much we will get in 2017 September we don't know, but we will try. So. So now you may be wondering, like we do so many things, and uh, what, so as a member, as a teaching assistant or graduate assi assistant, you are a member. So as a member, what exactly will you get from the unit, right? There are so many things we give, and the, there's no question that you can get support from us. If, if there's anything happening in the workplace, such as you suffer like uh, sexual harassment, you can always come to us for help. And also, we give travel funding, so you can get travel funding from us. You know, as a master or a PhD student, you have the opportunity to go to different um, conference, academic conference. So for every master, uh, master student, if they go to any conference, we give them $50 as a travel funding. And for every PhD doctor student, we give them $100. So you really want to keep that in mind, and when you go to a conference and get this travel funding from us. And also you can get opportunity. And why is that? Because um, not everyone can have, can have the chance to be a TA, to get a TA position every year. So every year there are lots of students, grad students, who cannot get this position in their own department, departments because their departments may not have so many available positions for them. So what happened is some other departments may have like more available positions, but like the students don't know. So in that case, the departments will tell us their opportunities, the, the positions they have, and we will let our members know. So that our members will have more chance to apply for those positions and have more opportunities to be a teaching assistant. So the last but not least is education. You can get education from us. So we have um, lots of education or training sessions. We have, um, last year, we have several lunch and learn sessions. So basically what happened is um, we, pr we invite different speakers from, like professors from deep different departments of the university and let them give speech about academic success or professional development or issues happening in workplace and to, to, to the members. So at the same time, we provide lunch and desserts. So that's why it's called lunch and learn. So you really want to keep in mind, like um, keep an eye on your email because all the information will be sent out through email. And also, uh, we'll host a lot of like uh, TA training session next year. So prepare you to be a qualified teaching assistant and um, develop your skills to be a qualified teaching assistant. So those are all, all the things you can get from us. So you really c want to keep your eye open to all the opportunities that you can learn. And also, uh, I want to mention that, so peace, uh, so we host, the union hosts a lot of education sessions and the PSAC also hosts a lot of education sessions for members. So there's one, for example, there's one called Learning Union Basics and it's a two-day learning, uh, two-day education session, and if you attend those one, you will get $50 per day. So my point is, you get this education, and we paid you. So we're really encourage, we really encourage, encourage you to learn, so we'll give you so many resources and support to encourage you to learn. So that, that's why, uh, that's all the things you can get from us. And then, why we exist? So you can see from this slide here. So we are in the middle. We are like a bridge that connects the university and the students. On one hand, we work with the university and school of graduate studies, and we help them to run things smoothly. And on the other hand, we support all the like graduate students, the GAs, TAs, and RAs. We help them to be satisfied and, and successful. So we, while we help the students, we're also helping the university because both, both of us have the same goal, is to make the students success, right? So that's why we exist. So now you know you can get a lot of things from us, and uh, there's lots of opportunities, lots of events going on, and you may be wondering how can you get involved. There are two ways to get involved. So the first one is a very simple one, is to, to be a volunteer. 
I was a volunteer with Tom and before I was elected to, to, uh, to be uh, the, the vice president. So it's really valuable experience. And uh, how, how, you can, how can you uh, become a volunteer? There are two ways. First, sometimes we will send emails that says, oh, we need volunteers. So you can just apply, uh, fill out the application form and apply. So another way you can, you can also, if you are really interested, you can reach out to us and send us emails that says uh, you want to be volunteer with Tallman. And another way to get involved is participating because there are lots of things going on. We will give posters, we will send out emails, and all the details and information about events will be there. So if you think it's interesting, and you just, you just come and check, check it out. So if you want to be a volunteer today, that's our contact information. You just shoot us an email today. And our office address is at Earth Science Building 4053. So that's basically what I want to share today. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy your lab here. Thank you. Thank you.